So in this one, we're finding the direction of a vector. We're thinking in terms of angles. Um, all right, so let's just jump straight into it. Uh, we've got a vector here. Uh, vector u equals negative root 3i plus j. I've chosen those numbers for a specific reason. You'll see why. Um, now, let's take a look at what that vector looks like, first of all. Um, negative root 3i. So this is our i here. Uh, now, negative root 3 is like 1 point something. Not that it matters too much to me, but I'm just going to put it over here somewhere. Negative root 3. And j, that's a positive j. So it's like over here somewhere. And it's just the number 1, 1j. One so that's what my vector looks like. Now, the question says... Find the angle vector u equals negative root 3i plus j makes with the positive direction of the x-axis. If a question asks you this, and it happens all the time, this is the positive direction of the x-axis. And so the angle that they're asking for is this one here. And you notice I'm putting like an angle, uh, an arrow, because they want the angle moving in an anti-clockwise direction. And it doesn't matter if the vector was like down here somewhere. They're not looking for the acute angle unless they ask for it. They're actually looking for this enormous angle here from here round to here, like 330 degrees or something. So that's that becomes clear the further we get into stuff. We'll start talking about unit circles and things, but for now, just take my word for it. If they ask for the positive direction of the x-axis, they're asking for this bit here. Now, how are we going to do this? Well, note this here just draw it again down here a little bit. This bit's a triangle. A right angle triangle, if I draw a line in there like that. And it's a right angle triangle with a height of 1 and a length of root 3. Now, I'm not interested in whether it was negative root 3 or positive root 3. I'm just going to call it a length of root 3. Now, I can find this angle by using trigonometry. All right, so I can say something like tan theta equals opposite over adjacent, 1 over root 3. And I can type that into my calculator, and I'll get an answer. Should probably like just do one more step, right? Inverse 10. Okay, I can type that into my calculator. I'll get an answer. And you should see now that I chose this number, root 3 and 1, because it spits out a very nice, neat answer of 30 degrees. Now you might be thinking, well, that's the answer. I'm finished. No. I just found that angle here. You need that angle. So we now know that if that's 30 degrees, that angle is supplementary to that. Therefore, angle equals 180 minus 30, which is uh, 150 degrees. Okay, so what are we doing here? Well, consider your vector, draw it, because then you want to know what quadrant it's in. Uh, we can label those quadrants. Quadrant 1, 2, 3, and 4. Consider it as a trigonometry question. Find the angle. We call it a reference angle. And then do whatever it is that you need to do. Maybe you'll need to subtract it from 180. Maybe you'll need to add it to 180. Maybe you'll need to subtract it from 360 to figure out what that angle is. Now, there is a variation on this question. If you're doing questions about hiking and things like that, then they might want the bearing. They might actually want, um, if it's like a hiking question or a bearings question, they might not want the angle from the positive direction of the x-axis. They might want the angle from north. So if this was a question where it was a hiking question and they wanted the angles from north, this was my vector, so it would be this angle here. 
which would be 270 plus the reference angle, which was 30, it, the answer would be 300 degrees, what we call 300 degrees true. So two different styles of uh, question. It could be a hiking question where you're being asked true north, what bearing. It could also be the more standard sort of vector question. Uh, what angle does it make with the positive direction of the x-axis? But your answer is always the same. Draw it up, consider it as a triangle, and then deal with it using trig to tan ratio.